Mohammed has painted his whole life. His father is also an artist, as are four of his brothers. The Sheik Sheik shop, which opened in 1985, sells paintings to the residents of Mogadishu. But in 2006, an Islamic court ruled that their work was against the Muslim faith and they were shut down for six months and remained a target for years afterwards. It is only in the past few months that they've been able to relax and concentrate on their artwork. My artwork focuses on peace. Their works of peace. They're about peace. Art can only work when there is peace because people need it. The arts cannot work in an area where there is no peace. In 2006, the Islamic insurgents al-Shabaab took control of parts of the city. Despite the fact that the Sheikh Sheikh Gallery was located in a government-controlled area of the city, it was still an extremely dangerous time for Somalia's artists. The brothers and their father received numerous death threats and the father had to flee for his own safety to neighbouring Ethiopia. The city was at civil war. We at the Shikshik Arts Group were hit during the conflict and one of us was wounded. The paintings don't depict the war but rather try to evoke a happier, more peaceful time. And those times are returning to Mogadishu after Al-Shabaab were forced out of the city 18 months ago. Our father had seven sons. Five of us are artists and we're all working now. My father wanted to keep painting in Somalia, but he fled the country because of the problems caused by the war and the destruction. Now we're continuing his work. The art scene is slowly re-emerging in the city, where a delicate peace currently exists. And that means for the Sheik Sheik family, they can once again produce works to lighten up homes across the Somali capital.